Hi, this is Bitlooney and in today's episode I will answer some of your questions on my ESP32 library and present the first bot that you can purchase from me. Since last time many of you have tried my ESP32 library and the VGA stuff. It was cool to see all the things that you have created. I know it can be challenging to do all the wiring, especially setting up a 14-bit resistor ladder to get all the colors. It can get really fiddly. To simplify it for you, I created a bot that is used with the ESP32 mini kit that I recommended several times before. It comes with a proper VGA socket, so you don't need to cut cables anymore. You can purchase the board as a kit to practice some simple true hole soldering. And that should be definitively level 2. But if you are really lazy, you can let me solder it for you for a premium price. Anyways, the count of these boards is limited, so head over to my shop and get one. You find the link in the description. I'm also happy to announce that I'm giving a ton of these to my supporters on Patreon, my channel members and even to PayPal donors for free. Now let's take a look at some frequent questions. The device is refusing to boot when it's connected to the screen. That's actually my fault using the pin 0 of the ESP as a default HSync pin. It was working with all the screens I have here, but it seems that others could cause some problems. I recommend to use another pin instead of zero. To improve on that, I changed the sync pins in all the examples and the documentation with the latest library version. The VGA bot already uses the new sync pins, so you will be ready to go with all the examples in the latest version. Text mode. Since I had so many requests, I added a typical DOS fonts and an example showing them. Now you will be able to create some ASCII art. Unfortunately, there is no explicit text mode yet to save some memory. I could add it, but it won't be able to run without consuming a lot of CPU power and messing with the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi and graphics. The VGA 3-bit and VGA 14-bit drivers work well with Wi-Fi since these don't need any CPU time. If you are caught in a boot loop, you are probably out of memory. Try a lower resolution then. For high resolutions, only the interrupt based drivers can be used, since these save a lot of memory. But they will also take a lot of CPU time, so that will mess with your Wi-Fi. It will probably not connect. You could try to connect before initializing VGA, but no promises there. Converting images and 3D meshes. It's a bit hidden, but there is a utility folder in the library with convenient converters. I linked it in the documentation now. You can simply use your browser to load your images. Use PNG for transparency. By pressing this button, a header file is generated that you have to put in your project folder and include. In the case of 3D meshes, you can only import STL files. Make sure your models are low poly, otherwise they won't fit into memory anymore. I hope that was a little bit helpful. Looking forward to your new creations. I will head back to improving the documentation and adding new stuff now. As I mentioned in the MakerCast on Sunday, I managed to write a sound driver for the ultra low power code processor. Now we are able to utilize all the computing power that the device is able to deliver. But that's for the next time, so if you don't want to miss it, subscribe to my channel, consider supporting and check out my new shop. See you next time, bye!